Last night, I had a very strange and bizarre dream, unlike any other that I've ever had. And uh, dreams are typically strange, and you wake up from them, and you try to find the rational thread, and most of the time, I can't, you know? But this one was even weirder than all the other ones. That's because there's one prevailing thought, phrase, or idea that kept creeping to the surface, and that is, why I hid the octopus. Now, as you can tell by the way I said it, it didn't seem like so much of a question as it did at an attempt uh, to an explanation. But to explain what, I don't know, because in my dream, I don't remember ever seeing an octopus. Well, there were other people, there were other things, there were things happening, I don't remember what they were, but I do remember this phrase. And so, it's funny to me, but it made me think of something this morning, and maybe that's the whole point of my dream, was to bring this to you. In life, things are going to happen to you. Things are going to happen around you. And things are going to happen to the people in your life. And they're going to leave you scratching your head. They're going to bring up imponderables and the unexplainables. And try as you might, you can ask questions, you can seek answers, and you may never find them. And this causes quite a bit of unrest for a lot of people. In fact, some people are paralyzed by this. They wonder why they got cancer, why their child died. I've seen this. I've seen this happen quite a bit. Why did this have to happen to me? Why did they do that? What am I going to do about this? You know? Of all the people this could have occurred, of all, their, of all the lives it could have occurred, and why did it have to happen in mine or the people that I love, the people that I care about? And you know what it does to people? It makes people sad. It makes people angry. It makes people bitter. It makes people paralyzed. Some people shut down because they will not move from their position until they find out why. It obsesses them. It obsesses them because they can't figure it out. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen to you that you can't figure out. And uh, what I want to tell you is, is just from my experience, I'm, and that's all I'm speaking from. I'm not an expert on this. But just from my, my 50 years of experience, I can tell you that there are some things that you're just not ever going to get the answers to, and they're not worth spending your time on. It's not worth, you know, wasting away years of your life wondering where they went because you were so sidelined, so sidetracked by these things and so upset, so bitter, so angry that you couldn't really focus on anything else. Mm. You know, I, I, I can say I've been like this on quite a few occasions. I mean, when I was young, it was... Um, why did my parents have to get a divorce? Why did that happen? And no matter what answer you got, it just doesn't seem good enough for me. I mean, I eventually got remarried, but but um, you know, when I when I was when I got old enough to start dating, why did she break up with me? I know what she said, but that doesn't make any sense. And you scratch your head and you you think about it all day long, and then what happens is you start making mistakes in other relationships because you're trying to correct the ones back here to to try to provide an explanation for why it happened. You either blame yourself or you blame them. If you blame yourself, then you're constantly in this mode of overcorrecting. And if you blame them, you're angry and you make the other person pay for it. I remember when my father had an aortic aneurysm. That was really tough. That was really tough. And I remember asking the doctors, why? How? How did that happen? You know? And they, they, all they could tell me was, we don't really know. It could have been stress. It could have been, it could have been anything. It could have been a lot of things, but we don't really know. That wasn't good enough for me. And I spent years obsessed with it and worried that it was going to happen to me. 
And, and sometimes that's what will happen with you if you if you don't get a grip on it. And uh, I think it's very important to understand that there are going to be things in life you just can't make sense out of. You can't get answers to your questions. And if you find yourself in that position, you know, it's, it's okay to take a stab at things uh, several times. You know, give it a certain amount of time. Give it a certain amount of attempts. But there comes a point when you have to just stop and go, you know, I may, not, I may never figure this out. I may never know why these things occurred to me, to this person. I may never understand how they happened. I don't understand what the purpose of it is. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be getting from this. But there has to, be, there has to come a certain point when you, which you have to let go. You know, because that's what you have to do to move on. So keep that in mind. You know, I I don't know <laughs> why <laughs> I don't know why I hid the octopus, you know? And, and frankly, from what I've seen and and in videos about octopuses, they're completely capable of hiding themselves for no particular reason. And well, maybe to to, to scavenge to maybe to be, to be a predator, but but uh anyway, I don't know. I don't, you know, it's, it's, that's the kind of things that creep up in life. And, and I just don't want to see it, it, uh, overcome you, overtake you and control you because that's what the imponderables do. Hmm. And, uh, I spent, I spent way too long doing that with too many things. And, and you, you kind of forsake who you are. You kind of forsake your own happiness and your own contentment. And it stunts your growth. That's what it does. So learn to let things go. You know, give some things some time. You know, it's okay to it's okay to to wonder why. It's okay to ask questions. But when you can't readily get answers, stop trying. Just stop trying. And you know what happens sometimes? Sometimes the answer will fall out of the sky and into your lap. You know, the less you try, sometimes, sometimes the more readily you, you get things. Okay. So guys, I hope that's helped a little bit. I hope that's meant something to you. And, um, and, uh, if you like the content, please hit the, the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done so already, consider donating to my channel. If it meant something to you, you don't have to, I'll keep doing this all the same. But, uh, if you want some way of showing uh, your appreciation for content like this, you can contribute, uh, you can donate, and I'll leave a link below. Um, and I want to say a big thank you to Chris Burt for donating to me. And uh, there's been another donor who's also, uh, uh, there's been another donor who's donated uh, several times who wants to remain anonymous. You know who you are, and I want to thank you likewise. If you want to know what I have in my beer today, uh, listen, head over to Mad Viking, Mad Viking uh, Beard Company. They put out some really great stuff. You can use my code MVGREG. It'll save you 10% on everything. This morning, I applied their beard oil. This comes in a, um, I think it's a two ounce, yeah, two ounce bottle. Very affordable. This is called the Hollow. The scent profile is uh, sandalwood, cedarwood, uh, pine and fresh cut wood. It is just, you know, there's a lot of different uh, beer products out there that have like a fresh cut wood smell. And this is one of the best, okay? So it's called The Hollow. It's from Mad Viking. And then when I got done, I put their beer butter in. And that's a beautiful tin. I love that. It looks like a hockey puck. It's about the same size. Um, their beer butter is one of their newer uh, lines. Uh, check them out. They've done it right. It's really good. And I think you'll like it a lot. So that's what I have for you today, guys. Once again, I hope uh, you've gotten something out of it. I hope it's meant something to you. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Be wise.